<laughs> I do TikTok, you do video. <laughs> I just know how to say Saya Suta Jaruk. Saya Mao Jaruk. Jaruk Jaruk. middle of nowhere in Indonesia. Just had a coffee. I was quite proud because I could say Saya Mao Minum coffee. She asked me what kind of coffee because she had all the different sachets. I said uh, Kapalapi. <laughs> so learning. Google saying it's quite dangerous here so just having a look. Visiting a fort. That's what I'm going for. I just ask those people if this is the right way, if it's allowed. Because that's the thing when you're a foreigner and you're traveling, you don't know where you're allowed to go. Like, is it somebody's property? Am I going to get murdered? I don't know. Nice little day out there. Pretty little walk. I really didn't expect to get this inside of Surabaya. I feel like I'm in nature. When you're alone and you're traveling, you look at roads like this, and you just think, does it end? Does it go to where I want to be? Google Maps is pretty useless, honestly. <laughs> you look at Google Maps and you teleport all around the place. So I've no idea if this is the right way. An abandoned building there. Pretty sure that's not what I'm looking for. So we'll keep going. Or maybe it's this. I feel naughty, I feel dangerous, or in danger, rather. But this is an abandoned military bunker and complex. Let's look right into number five, figure out what's going on, and then we'll climb some steps. This feels like something I shouldn't be doing. It was naughty. Like it's clearly abandoned and there's clearly nobody here. Oh shit. And it does smell like all abandoned places do, which is of piss. But it's an old, from what I, can gather from oh, Google. Oh, it's a, a small artillery, anti-naval defense type place. And you can obviously see something was right here. A huge weapon, maybe a big gun pointing out to the ocean there. These trees probably cut down but I have no idea what war this was used in or at what point in Indonesia's history they had this going. I know it's not so long ago they liberated from the Dutch, but I, I know nothing about Indonesia's history, but it is, wow. It is beautiful and in a way kind of special to be here all alone. You can see that these defences, they start over there and further. You can see they go even further down. Wow, oh, so pretty though, so, so pretty. And of course, like a fool, I'm wearing short sleeves. So I am cooking. In the distance, we have the bridge, the beautiful bridge. It cost 350 million to make. That's around three trillion Indonesian rupiah. It's about six kilometers long. 
and it's quite impressive. It's quite impressive. There's a little jump. Clearly someone has sat or slept there. And that's what I mean. I don't want to come across some angry homeless dude that wants my camera. Oh, oh shit, look at that. Wow, look at that. I mean, those stairs look pretty brutal, but So what would this be? Oh Jesus. I'm assuming they had a huge door here and it's a big thing. Maybe this was for storing ammunition. Obviously. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought it would be a I'm kind of enjoying exploring abandoned places. I gotta do that more often. Like truly abandoned. Not, you know, um, oh, it's abandoned and now it's a tourist attraction. Oh, there are people. Oh. People, people. Oh. We are up here. Oh my God, this, I don't know much about weaponry or artillery or even Indonesia, but look at this. This clearly housed something quite remarkable. Yeah, yeah, obviously the gun here can rotate and I guess to adjust range slightly or elevation, the, the gun could move backwards, but something massive was here. Oh shit, look, this is how abandoned we're talking. Oh my god, I don't want to step in that. But I will. Jesus. That looks kind of safer. If I dangle. Oh. Two little bouncers. Boom. I haven't really had too much time to make a video because my beautiful wife is pregnant and I've had time to make a video. I've just been very lazy. I've been very lazy and I lost my confidence a bit with the camera. But uh, we're getting back, we're getting back. There's a man-made trail. Let's explore before we go to the big building. And, and like I said, this isn't anything crazy, this content, but it's an abandoned military base in Indonesia. Anything could happen. So is Indonesia safe? That's what I wanted to ask, right? Like, here I am in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Am I alive? But I guess it doesn't really count if you don't come across people. I've crossed a few people, nobody's murdered me yet. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. Vines and beautiful greenery. Oh my God, the sun is cooking me. And there's a cat. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh. No, you're okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say hello. Oh, I mean, the cat jumped and got scared, but then was just chilling. Bing chilling. Oh, shit. I guess this is a place for beds. Sleeping quarters, it looks like. My camera just said that it's overheated so much it has to repair the file. So maybe all this was for nothing. Maybe there is no video. But I'm gonna keep going as if there is. It said that the file was corrupt and it needs repairing. We'll see if it can repair. Somebody in the comments has to tell me what war this was built for. Just these beautiful, I don't know if the camera picked that up. Like an explosion. And I hear voices. 
more explosions. There's legit like a cannon being fired. I can hear a cannon, like a what, like loudest thing I've ever heard. Ominous hooks. I'm gonna go ask them if they know what the boom was. You speak any English? No English. The sound. Just, <laughs> you, you speak English? You any English? Saya suka jeruk. Jeruk, jeruk. Saya mau jeruk. Saya pun yo jeruk. All I know. <laughs> Boom. Is it better to be scared and indoors? Or is it better to do 10,000 fun things and maybe one time something bad happens, you know? Statistically, <laughs> that's how it is, right? But yeah, get out there, do something. Go a little bit crazy. We only get one chance to go around on this planet and live one chance and regardless of religion or beliefs pretty sure we all agree that it's the only chance we get on this earth so just do it prior to traveling didn't leave the house in years I had depression and anxiety and wow and I still do to some extent but Man, if I can do it, you can do it. Let's fucking get it done. Do that thing that you're putting off. That thing you keep telling yourself you're gonna do. That thing you wanna do, but you think about too much. Don't think about it, just go and do it. Don't let yourself sit and mull over the idea and think, hmm, but this could happen, mm, this. Just do it, just do it. You got one chance, guys. Very vague advice, but I guarantee the next time you come up with something in your head, like, I wanna do this, if you let yourself think about it twice, it's gonna go three times, four times, five times, and then it's too big to conquer. You make it out to be this giant thing. But as soon as that idea pops in your head, if you say, yes, let's do it, and you just stick and focus, tunnel vision on the yes, you'll do it. Or take the first step. You wanna go for a run? You wanna go for a walk? Go and put your shoes on. Go tie your shoes, tie your laces. And then ask yourself, do I wanna do it? You're gonna feel like a complete idiot if you turn around and take your shoes off. That feeling is gonna motivate you to go and do it, man. And it works with a lot of things. I'm not perfect. As soon as there's people, I get a little bit nervous. Don't wanna to talk to the camera. But, with practice comes perfection. With perfection comes... something.